deserve to die like this. Lord, she's all I've got in this world. She's all I've ever lived for. And now she's gone. Lord, you should have done something. You shouldn't have let her die. My Lord, why? like this. You've been too hard on yourself. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. She <laughs> happen this way. But I assure you that wherever your parents are, they must have forgiven you by now. Please. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Don't forget your condition, please, Linda. Cannot continue like this. Florence was a beautiful and lovely woman. Yes, I know. But it has happened. You have to look forward to life. Dad, I understand and appreciate all you've been doing to help me since my wife died. I'm even ashamed of the fact that I can't take hold of myself any longer. But I often wonder if my life will ever be the same again without Florence. It's okay. Tony, you have to get yourself stronger. You know, you are my only son and the only thing I have in the whole world. And I'm not getting younger. <laughs> you should know that. I'm not getting younger. It's alright, Dad. I promise you. It's okay. Things will take a turn for the better from now onwards. It's okay. I'm just taking fresh Have you been crying again? Look at my eyes. I'm not crying. Okay, let's go upstairs. There's this movie that I brought for you for us to watch. That movie we're talking about today. I brought it. Let's go and watch it. Come on, let's go. I don't enjoy this movie. Come on, that one we're talking about that just came out.
something I like to tell you. Go ahead, feel free. I'm all here. You know, you know, I love you so much. So much that I can't imagine living life without you. Looking so good. Come on, stop flattering me, Chidi. What do you mean? I don't want to flatter you. Ma, uh, you, you're good. You're looking cute, Makachuku. <laughs> All the same. Thank you. Thank you very much. How do you? Where is Linda? She's fine. No? It's just that she gets smoothie these days over her parents' death. Are you? Are you? Are you trying to tell me that? Till now, Linda still blames herself of her parents' death. Mm. I know. I know. But tell me something, tell me something. I hope Linda till now still take her drugs. Mm. She has stopped taking her drugs. I mean, the doctor told her to stop so that she can look forward to life. But are you are you telling me that Linda has stopped taking her drugs? My brother, that's why I see him. Um, she's upstairs. I'll join you guys later. I want to get some things at the right, supermarket. Uh, all right, I'll see you. Okay. All right, thanks. yourself. You look like a pretty girl. I've known all this while. Chica, I try, but it's not Understand that your parents can't come back again, no matter how you cry. <laughs> All I want you to do is just look onto life. God's gonna do it for you. Okay? Okay? Okay. Now give me that old <laughs> smile.
Please, I would like to see on you. Tony, you for me, sir? Let's tell him Charles. Best friend, you can't continue being too hard on yourself. Listen, Charles, I've been trying my best, okay? But the fact remains that without uh, Florence by my side, it's like the greater part of me is missing. I know how you feel, Tony. Florence was a very special woman. But right now, there's nothing you can do. Listen, man, it's hard, man. It's very hard. Sometimes I even contemplate con uh, committing suicide. Man, stop it! Stop it, Tony! You can't continue hurting yourself and your dad! My dad? What, what, what do you mean by that? Tony, the man called me the day before yesterday from Abuja. I had to leave everything I was doing to get to you. I mean, for goodness sake, for the sake of your dad, myself, and even you, Tony, you just have to put this thing behind you. God. What am I doing to myself? It's okay, it's okay, man, it's okay. Hmm? Um, I, know, I know it's not easy. I know how you feel. But Tony, please, for the sake of me, your dad, yourself, everybody, you just have to put this thing behind you, please. Okay? Let me get my car. I'm sorry, let me show you the driver out there. Chidi says he wants to marry me. Hmm? <laughs> Isn't he funny? Uh, Linda, which one you think? Ah, you know that Chidi loves you. Ah, consider his proposal now. I mean, I like Chidi. Yeah. 
shady as a friend. Nothing else. No emotions attached. No commitments. Just as a friend. Moreover, I have so much on my mind right now. For me to even start thinking of marriage or anything close. You know you're my best friend. And anything that is best for you, I'll gladly do it. Yeah. Do and I also want to say thank you again. I mean, for all the things you've done, uh, for the work you're still okay, doing. Don't, don't worry. God will see you through this period. Just believe in him and he will see you through it. Okay. Ah, look at the time. I want to go and see my cousin at the office. The one I told you about. I lost oh, his okay, wife. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, mm. So when I come back, I come back early. I uh, will try, but we have somewhere to go from there. So, check back. Ah, John, now, wow. You can't even give me a call. Or oh, have you forgotten I'm your one and only cousin? It's not like I've forgotten, but you see, things have not been that easy with me, you know. I've been trying so hard to put myself together ever since I lost my wife. Yeah, yeah. I understand. I know how you feel. It's not easy. It's quite a terrible experience when you lose a loved one. It's terrible. It's not easy, Tony. I mean, you're just like my friend. I've tried everything I can to stop her from crying ever since she lost her parents to arm robbers. Oh, poor girl. I can understand how she feels. You know, like I told you, it's such a terrible... I don't know how to explain it. I mean, such a bitter experience when you lose a Very bad. I know, Tony. That's one of the reasons I'm here. Uh, why don't you um, put yourself together and leave everything to God? He will take control. Oh, I'm trying my best to do all that, but you know, it's not easy. Like to say, he who wears the shoe knows where he pinches. I want to say, no, I'll try. Consider the love I have for you. Please, I, I love you so much, Linda. Oh, Chidi, for Christ's sake, stop all this. I've told you, there can be no intimate relationship between the two of us. It's not possible. It can't work. I have told you that. You can't imagine what you're doing to me, Linda. You can't imagine. Chidi, you've known me since childhood. I mean, we've been friends. You know everything about me. You know my situation. You know my condition. I say, Chidi, I don't want to make you a miserable person. That's why I said it can't work. Linda, all I want you to do is just for you to think about it. I'll come to the house tomorrow evening to see you. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. And um, I know that God will send blessings to the child, a baby girl precisely, that will look exactly just like you. No, he's going to give us a baby boy that looks just like you. Um, I don't know why this sudden change of mood. There's something I'd like to tell you. Is 
something you think I should know. Tony hardly sleep at night, and when he manages, you hear him screaming, Florence, Florence in his dream. I, I don't know. I know how you feel, son. Uh, actually, I've spoken to Tony, and he has promised to change, though I know it's not easy. I think I know what to do. I'll get him a wife. Yes. <laughs> um, I've actually tried to do that, son. In fact, I tried to hook Tony up with a girl. He refused. So what do I do? What do I do? Tony's my only son. Eh? And look at me, I'm getting too old to start making babies now. It's okay, sir. It's okay. I'll have a talk with Tony again. And I believe God, Tony will change. Please talk to him. If it's possible for me to purchase Flores, I would do. I would do it all my savings. It's not possible. Let's believe God, things will change. Mm -hmm. Listen, let's get to the world of yourself. Thank you for just being there for me. Thank you for everything. But you know, it's not easy. Every time I... Every time I think of my parents' death, I feel it's my fault. I've told you before, it's not your fault. I mean... There's nothing you could have done to change things. We are not God. It was destined to happen that way. And please, stop it. Ada, I, I want to go to their graves tomorrow. I want to go and beg for their forgiveness. Maybe I'll have peace. Will you follow me? All right, I'll come with you. I'll follow you. Okay, but maybe I stop this. Stop it. Mm. Stop there, Linda. You need to do this again. Okay?
Let's go inside. I'm a bit tired, and you know we have to be at the hospital in the morning. Okay. So, Linda, yes, turn the TV off, go to bed. Oh, I thought you want to watch a movie. You and movies. If you're not watching a movie, you are reading a novel. Just make sure you lock up immediately. Okay, I will. I will. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. have lunch. Ah, Pocomico restaurant. All right, and I'll be there. All right, bye bye.
Very serious. Oh my God! How are we going to handle this now? Okay, you can handle it. Okay. Hi there. Hello, Charles. Hello. He just walked in now, looking very upset. Okay, okay, okay. Where's my boy? Okay, I'll call you back. Eh? Thank you, my son. I appreciate. It. Thank you. How was the day? I'm tired. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to buy something down the road, so I'll meet you upstairs. I have a date at the studio with my photographer. Ew. <laughs> oh, would you like to come along with me? Of course, of course. What am I doing at home? All right, now we'll go together from there. We'll go to my cousin's office. Okay, let me just buy something and I'll come upstairs and dress up and then we'll okay. go. I want to freshen up myself. Okay, I'm coming now, so I will change and then. Okay, all right.
Why is my life like this? Why is there so much pain when there should be joy and happiness? Florence, why did you have to leave me this way without anything to remember you by? My poor father, the man is suffering so much because of me. Oh Lord God, help me. Please, what do I do? everything about your marriage. <laughs> Young girl, what is that your name again? I'm Teresa Okore. <laughs> Teresa Okore. Hmm, that's a nice name for a beautiful girl. Well, Dad, with all due respect, I am not ready to get married now. Now, Teresa, I don't mean to be rude, but the truth is that I'm a very, very busy person. You know, I have a whole lot of things to do. But I promise you, you know, Soon, my dad and I will come and see your parents. Hmm? Okay, that's my son. Okay, I'll tell you. No problem. Dad? Thank you very much for everything. Uh, but I have to run up to the office right now. I have a lot of work to do. Okay, that's my son. Alright, so here's how I feel at home. Hmm? Bye bye, it's okay. Yeah. You just have to be patient. Everything will be more than you have to do because you will make it good. Tony, why don't you? Try and start again. I know it's not going to be easy, but just try and you know, start all over again. Yeah, I agree with what Ada is saying. I mean, you know, um, I don't know, but I know we are just meeting for the very first time. And um, I mean, what has happened has happened, so just let it go. Well, Ada. I want to thank both of you for actually making out time to come and see me. It's nice to know that I still have people who care about me. Thank you so much. And, um, I don't know, I, I don't want to sound too forward, but um, I can give you my number. That would be nice. Yeah, so that you could call me anytime and we can talk. Yes, and I believe that will take your mind off a lot of things. Oh, well, um... Why don't I take you guys out for lunch or something? Ah, that's more like kids. <laughs> So happy, cheerful. What's what's going on, Charles? You've started. Do you, you really want to know? Yeah, okay, tell. okay. You see, um, okay. Um, I I met this this girl, you know, this very lovely girl, and you know the the irony of it all is that we have the same kind of problem, mm. and the way and manner in which she spoke to me really touched my heart. She finally advised me to carry on with life that no matter how much I cry, Florence will never come back. That's good to know, but the point is though, mm -hmm. I mean, there's nothing this girl must have told you, I've not, I've not said to you. Um, so tell me, Tony, uh -huh. 
Are you falling? Have you fallen for this girl? So, <laughs> Charles, you're very funny. <laughs> why, why do you ask? Did I, did I tell you I'm, I'm in love with the girl? Oh, because I'm so here. why are you asking? <laughs> because the way you're, you're looking these days, although it's good for you to be happy, uh. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you will never change. <laughs> Charles, please leave me. <laughs> are you not happy with her? I'm happy. We got pain. Why? So you're going like this, I'm man. Tired. I'm tired, man. Tired. It's a bit late. And um, I need to go. Charles, this one you're going to eat. I'm tired, man. Actually, you're tired or you're hungry. Look at me, I'm tired. I need okay, to go. Okay. Let, me, let me see you. Let me go and rest. It's all tired, man. I'm fine now. Ah, go. I'm not okay. I'm trying to do good. In that baby. How you know? How you did? Just to enjoy yourself. Well, I thank God for his big messes. So how are you? My dear, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Um, by the way, where is Ada? Oh, you just missed her. Um, she went to see her sister. Oh, I see. Oh. Uh, I think that is um spa what we discussed the other day i i really want to get the the results chile it's not possible it cannot work i mean it can't just happen see you're like a brother to me I, i've known you ever since and so no forget it, it, it I mean, despite whatever situation there is, it just can't work. It's not possible. Hmm? Nina. Nina, you know I love you. You know I love you so much, Linda. You just have to continue my happiness as well. Well, I've completed an arrangement to my doctor friend for you to start taking your medications again. drugs again. Those drugs would only buy me limited time. Hmm? I so I mean I know. But don't worry. Just don't worry. God will always turn things around. Just, just believe in him, okay? I believe in him. He's been sustaining me. I mean, he's brought me this far. I believe in God. But then I'm also a very realistic person. I know. I know you're realistic. Why are you not eating? I just remember my late wife. Oh. I'm sorry. Um, would you want to talk about it? <laughs> Don't bother. I, no. I don't want to spoil your mood right mm -mm. now. No, but my friend is talking about it. You can take it off your mind. Listen. It's a very funny story, okay? Uh, we woke up that fifth morning and I found out her body was very hot. I picked up my phone and tried to call the doctor. But she told me not to bother that once she takes the drugs we have in the house, she'll be well. And based on that, I dressed up and left for work. By the time I go back from work in the evening, I didn't 
was on the sitting room, I went to our room, she wasn't there, I searched all the rooms in the house, and I finally found her in the guest room. Darling, what are you doing in the guest room? Suta, what is it? Jesus Christ, your body is too hot. Okay, you can tell me the for the doctor first. It's okay, it's okay. Just hold on, hold on, for the doctor. My wife is very, very sick. Yes, her body is very hot. Don't, please, I want you to come with the ambulance. All right, thank you. I'll, I'll be waiting. Honey, don't worry, okay? Don't worry. The doctor is on his way. Huh? You're going to be fine, okay? You're going to be well again. So, honey, what, what was it you said you wanted to tell me? Florence. 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 Honey, come on, wake up, quick. Florence. Florence. Jesus Christ, honey, wake up. Honey, please talk to me. What's... Florence. Jesus Christ. Hello, doctor. Hello, hello, please. Please hold up. She's not even talking to me anymore. She's not breathing. That's how she died, without saying exactly what she wanted to tell me. Hmm. Well, it's okay. I mean, it's such a sad story, but it's okay. It is well. Now, what is it? What happened? Did anybody hurt you? Did Tony hurt you? Tell me. Linda, tell me now. What is it? The way she died. Died. It's so unfair. Died. Who died? Tony's wife. I mean, did, did Tony tell you? She didn't deserve to die that way. It's okay. I'm sure Tony didn't tell you to hurt you, but probably to get it off his chest. So please don't get yourself, you know, worried over it. I mean, it's a sad story, all right, but then that's life. Just don't worry yourself over it, okay? Okay. I feel so bad. I know. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Hello, Linda. What's happening? Pleasant surprise. It's like you're not too happy to see me. No, 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 it's not that. It's just that I didn't know you knew where I stayed. Well, I called her this morning and she gave me your address. 
Okay, um, well, come in. So nice to see you. soft drink would do. So, what brings you to my home on the boat? Oh, okay. I just wanted to see your face again. Oh. Okay. So, where is Ada? Um, she went to see someone on the island. Uh, um, Linda. You see, um, I just hope you don't get offended, but um, I want to tell you that you know, you and my late wife, um, you know, have a lot of things in common. I mean, you possess almost the same qualities. Like, so what are the main qualities? Okay, um, the way you walk, um, the way you smile, the way you bite your lip once in a while, you know, and most especially your eyes. Tony, please. <laughs> well, um, come to know you. And I've also noticed some nice qualities in you. And I think I like you. You're a nice guy. Uh, but there's, there's one big favor I'd like to ask. Go ahead. Well, um, please, um, I... I, I, um, I, please, I don't want you to fall in love with me. <laughs> oh, Linda, you're very funny. I wasn't even thinking about that. And I'm not even ready for that love game yet. No. That's quite a relief. That's good to hear. So that means we can be very good friends. That's what we are.
You need a hands back. Tell her that I've completed arrangement to my doctor friend for her to start taking her medications again. No matter what the drug costs, I will foot the bill. Well, Chide, you've spoken well. I'll speak to Linda when she comes back. Well, the point is, Linda did not just stop uh, taking her drugs because of the cost. She just wanted to stop and wait. That's not good enough. I know. But uh, we just have to try our best and leave the rest for God. I understand, but I don't know. I don't know. How now? A long time. Keep at. What up? I'm cool though. How was the proposal? Well, it was okay. We'll talk about that later, but Chidi has been waiting since. I hope there's no problem. Yes. Don't see me. Excuse us. Okay. Yeah. Linda, it's about you start taking your drugs again. I've concluded the arrangement with my doctor. Chidi. Chidi. Please, I don't want to get offended. Mm? If it's about me taking those drugs again, just forget it. Okay. Uh, but, uh, but... Something, there's something special about this girl, honestly. So somehow you're you're falling in love with this girl. This girl. I'm not saying I'm falling in love with her, but I know I like her so much. Tony, Tony. You know we've been friends for a long time now, and I know you very well. So what are you insinuating? What I'm saying is, uh, if you know you love this girl, or you like her so much, like you just said, why don't you tell her or show her? Somehow, spend some little money. Buy her one of the things as usual. Charlie, money can you know how women love, are? Oh. You know? But also, where, 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 where did you say we should hang out? Let's well, let's some. Um, I'll hang out for Sammy's band. Let's go to Sammy's. Sammy's. <laughs> Please. They want to do pool. He's not uh, fine enough or handsome enough? No, that's not the point. You know, Tony is a very fine guy. I mean, he's every girl's dream. But the problem is that I don't want him to get hurt again. But what do you mean by that? You know the problem. But Linda, I thought we, uh, we decided to put that behind us and for you to live on. But Linda, it disappoints me. best friend and you know how much I care about you I mean 
for me to leave my parents' house and moved in with you. We agreed that you should leave this thing behind you and move on. I mean, why don't you try and, and do so? Hey, please. Okay? Okay. Okay, I'll do as you say. Hmm? But for now, let's go and get something to eat. I'm very hungry. What is it? Linda, tell me, what is it? Are you, are you right? What is it? What? Tell me. Just about a business. I'll go to work. Do you want me? Do you want me to get the doctor? Are you sure? Let's go to the hospital then. Let's go. Are you sure? I should get something to eat. something rather really important I want us to talk about. Uh, seven? Okay, that's the deal, huh? Catch you later. Take care, okay? Bye-bye. She warned me never to fall in love with her. I have this feeling she's not in love with me, but I know she likes me so very much. Hey, there is hope, my child. All you need to do is to make your intention known to her. No venture, no success. <sighs> okay. Well, Dad, I have to go get dressed. Uh, Linda should be waiting for me right now. I'll see you as soon as I get back. anything for each other okay I I want you to know that I love you so much I care about you and I want you to be my woman you know like I want to live live with you you know for the rest of my life what, what do you think I mean I want to take good care of you I just want to be your man I'm sorry, I can't. What do you mean you can't? I mean, why, 
why do you keep turning me down? I mean, is it that you don't love me? No, Tony. Tony, I love you. I, I, I've loved you right from the first moment I set my eyes on you. Just hear you say, you love me? If you, if you do love me, why then do you have to put me through all this torture? Why? I have a short time to leave. Come on, baby. This is no time for, for, for levity. I mean, it's no time for jokes. What do you mean you have a short time to leave? I don't understand. Come on. I... I have... Serve the Lord, and I haven't been taking my drugs for some time now. You have what? Leukemia? Wait, wait, wait. You have a short time to leave? Tell me! Why, why didn't you tell me all this while, Linda? Why? Why didn't you tell me from the start? I mean, why did you allow me to fall in love with you before forcing you out that you have leukemia? How? I, I, I mean, I, I told you not to fall in love. No. So all the all the scary all the sweet words. Oh come on, I can't believe. Linda, why did you betray me? Why did you do this to me? What did I do to you? But I told you. Jesus. I told you.
months back. Tell her that I've concluded arrangement to my doctor friend for her to start taking her medications again. No matter what the drug costs, I will foot the bill. Well, Chide, you've spoken well. I'll speak to Linda when she comes back. But the point is, Linda did not just stop uh, taking her drugs because of the cost. She just wanted to stop and wait. That's not good enough. I know. But uh, we just have to try our best and leave the rest for good. I understand, but I don't know. I don't know. Chizzy, how long? A long time. What's up? I'm cool. Though. How was the proposal? Well, it was okay. We'll talk about that later. But Chidi has been waiting since. I hope there's no problem. There's no problem. Let's see. Don't see me. Excuses. Okay. Let's okay. In the it's about you start taking your drugs again. I've concluded the arrangement with my doctor. Chidi. Chidi. Please, I don't want to get offended. Mm? If it's about me taking those drugs again, just forget it. Excuse me. Uh, but, uh, but... Thank you. Something, there's something special about this girl, honestly. So somehow you're, you're falling in love with this girl. this girl. I'm not saying I'm falling in love with her, but I know I like her so much. Tony, Tony. You know we've been friends for a long time now, and I know you very well. So what are you insinuating? What I'm saying is, uh, if you know you love this girl, or you like her so much, like you just said, why don't you tell her or show her? Let her know that you love her. And somehow, spend some little money. Buy her one or hey, two things hey, as hey, usual. Charlie, you know how women love, are? Oh. You know? But what's the way, where, 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 where did you say we should hang out? Let's, well, let's um, I'll hang out for Sammy's band. Huh? Let's go to Sammy's. Sammy's. <laughs> Please, do one or two pools. <laughs> relationship counts me out. Uh -uh. Why now? Is it that he's not uh, fine enough or handsome enough? No, that's not the point. You know Tony is a very fine guy. I mean he's every girl's dream. But the problem is that I don't want him to get hurt again. What? What do you mean by that? You know the problem. But Linda, I thought we, uh, we decided to put that behind us and for you to live on. But Linda, it disappoints me. You know I'm your best friend, and you know how much I care about you. I mean, 
for me to leave my parents' house and move in with you. We agreed that you should leave this thing behind you and move on. I mean, why don't you try and, and do so? And please. Okay? Okay. Okay, I'll do as you say. Hmm? But for now, let's go and get something to eat. I'm very hungry. What is it? Linda, tell me, what is it? Are you, are you right? What is it? What? Tell me. Just about some business. I, I, I got some. Do, do you want me? Do you want me to get the doctor? Are you sure? Let's go to the hospital then. Let's go. Are you sure? I should get something to eat. known to her? Not really. Uh, some time ago she warned me never to fall in love with her. I have this feeling she's not in love with me, but I know she likes me so very much. Babe, there is hope, my child. All you need to do is to make your intention known to her. No venture, no success. <sighs> okay. Well, Dad, I have to go get dressed. Uh, Linda should be waiting for me right now. I'll see you as soon as I get back. There's no need for us to go pretending that we don't feel anything for each other, okay? I I want you to know that I love you so much, I care about you, and I want you to be my woman, you know, like I, I want to live live with you, you know, for the rest of my life. What what do you think? I mean I want to take good care of you. I just want to be your man. I'm sorry, I can't. What do you mean you can't? I mean, why, why do you keep turning me down? I mean, is it that you don't love me? No, Tony. Tony, I love you. 
I, I, I've loved you right from the first moment I set my eyes on you. Just hear you say, you love me? But if you, if you didn't love me, why then do you have to put me through all this torture? Why? I have a short time to leave. Come on, baby, this is no time for, for, for levity. I mean, it's no time for jokes. What do you mean you have a short time to leave? I don't understand. Come on. I... I have leukemia. I have leukemia. It's cancer of the blood. And I haven't been taking my drugs for some time now. You have what? Leukemia? Wait, wait, wait. You have a short time to leave? Tell me! Why, why didn't you tell me all this while, Linda? Why? Why didn't you tell me from the start? I mean, why did you allow me to fall in love with you before forcing me out that you have leukemia? How? I, 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 I mean... I told you before. I, I, I told you not to fall in love. Linda. So all the, all the scary, all the sweet words? Oh, come on, I can't believe it. Linda, why did you betray me? Why did you do this to me? What did I do to you? But I told you. Jesus I told you.
Linda. Linda. I'm just coming from your house. What is it this time? What do you want from me now? I'm very sorry, okay? I, I, I didn't mean to hurt you. I can't explain what actually came over me. I, I, don't, I don't know. I didn't mean to use such words in you, but I'm very sorry. Okay? And I know how you feel. I know you're very mad at me, but please, find a place within your heart to forgive me. I'm very sorry. And listen, I, I want you to know that I love you so much, and I'm willing to take very good care of you. Please. I'm very sorry. Please, it will never, ever happen again. I promise. Tony actually came back after finding out about your illness. My dear, I still can't believe it. It's, 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 it's almost like a miracle. Hey, yeah, that means he really loves you. You're lucky because true love is hard to come by these days. She? I'm telling you. Well, you know what? I love, in fact, I've fallen in love with Tony. I mean, I, I he means he means the world to me. I mean, I, I, I'm beginning to love him so much. I, I'm just really <clears throat> Does that mean you love Tony more than me? Ah, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I mean. That's not what I mean. <laughs> Why not? I'm <laughs> pretty jealous. Linda. What? What? What, what is it? <sighs> Tell me now, ah, are you alright? Should I go get the doctor? Mm, please, please, please. It's the last time we talked about my illness. Alright. Oh, I'm so weak. Ah! Ah! Are you sure you can handle it? Uh, please, give me water, give me water. And put, put uh, sugar, please. Uh, uh, I'm so weak, please. I should get you water. Yes. Okay, let me go and get you. Are you telling me that you're in love with a girl who has a short time to live? Listen, man, Charles, I don't care, even if that girl is going to die tonight. All I know is that I love her. Man, forget about love, for goodness sake, Tony. I mean, think. Think about, I mean, all the stress of losing Florence, man. Think. Listen, Charles, I understand everything you're saying. But the fact remains that I love this girl. I believe there's this very strong force that is binding us to Forget her. about whatever force! I mean, Tony, you're my best friend, man. Can't you think? I mean, think about yourself. Think about your aging father, man. And think about all of us that suffer that pain of losing Florence. Uh -uh. Charles, listen. You don't even know this girl. I mean, there is something about her that... Man, forget about this girl. Look, Tony. Like I told you, you're, you I mean, you're my best friend. They say a word is... And not for a wife. Don't forget you cried so much tears in the past, man. For goodness sake, you just have to wisen up, Tony. What 
same with that. Just take it easy. It's one of those things to be loved and not to be you know, not to be turned back. She's one of those um, 20 minutes. That's what I'm doing. So it's... Um, after a while, I'm going to teach you how to do it. That's what you said. Ah, Tony! Hey, how are you? My heart's working, Daddy. Oh, well, everybody's fine. And how are you? I'm okay. I'm fine. Oh, oh, Chidi, hi. Is there a problem? Everything is fine. Are you sure there's no problem? I assure you there's no problem. Everything is fine. Let's go upstairs. Let's go. Oh, yeah. What do we offer you? Nothing, nothing for now. How about yourself? Are you sure? I'm okay. Okay, so let me leave the two of you to... Ta-da! Two of us to do it. Well, Linda. <clears throat> I want you to know that. Okay. You mean the world to me. Ever since I lost my wife, um, you're the only person who has ever brought me happiness. You know? And I don't know how to say thank you. Um, you know, you know, I had lost hope. But you've given me the strength and your love has just given me a reason to go on, to live on. I'm talking about leaving. <clears throat> I want to assure you that you're going to live long. You're going to live long and grow old by the special grace of God. I've already prayed to God and asked Him to grant you long life. But you have to do me one favor. What? You have to promise me that from now onwards, you start taking your drugs. Mm. Huh? Okay, for your sake, I'll start taking those drugs again. That's my girl. Mm.
Yes. Madam? What really happened? Which hospital? Yes, I, I think I know the place. Okay, I'll be there right away. Alright then. Bye. Um, Rita, make sure these files get to UC computers on time so that the manager can make some uh, corrections. Uh, tell him to give me a call on my mobile later. Yes, sir. What actually happened? We were in the kitchen, you know, gisting, and all of a sudden she was not uh, responding. And she was like almost passing out. I had to bring her to the hospital. Almost passing out? But why? Why is this happening, God? Why? Why? Why, 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 why is this happening? Why? Wait, where is the doctor? She was here some minutes ago. I think she should be in her office. Okay. I have to see her right away. I'll be right back, huh? Oh, okay. Please, take care of her. I'll be back. See, money is not the issue. Linda has leukemia. And that is cancer of the white blood cells. It means that her white blood cells are immature, making her defenseless against any infection. You see, wherever you or I could pass without catching anything, Linda can get it at the slightest opportunity. Her immune system is at its lowest. She's been on chemotherapy for a very long time. As we speak, leukemia has no cure. We only have drugs that can buy the patient's time. And these drugs are very expensive, so I advise Linda to forget them and leave on. No, 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 Doctor, listen, I, 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 I understand all you've said so far, but... Please, I'm ready to foot the bills. Whatever it's going to cost, I will pay, Doctor. Please, I need your help right now. Please. See, Mr. Tony, um, we've conducted all manners of text. We've run the you know, full blood count plus film, the bone marrow aspiration, the chest x-ray, the urine test, the you know, blood test, just you name it. You know, including the symptoms that she's always complained about. And all this confirm that she has leukemia. All we can do now is pray. And as we sit here, I'm sorry. Linda has a very short time to leave. No, doctor. Doctor, please. That girl means a whole lot to me. If, if I lose her right now, my life will never be the same again. Please, doctor. Please, I, 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 I want you to do everything within your powers to see if you can save her life. Tony, see, no matter how much we spend, no matter what we do, all we can do is just wait and pray. I advise that you just become strong, at least for her sake and her friend Ada.
Mr. Tony, I think you should go home, change and have a bath. Hmm? So my nurses are capable and they can take good care of her. Nurse, please, I... I can't leave her alone. Ada has already gone home to get me some clothes. Please, nurse. I, doctor, I, 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 I need to be by her side, please. And it's alright, uh, let me attend to other patients. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. So you can't do without me. Come on, honey, what are you talking about? Besides, um, there's this thing you said you've always wanted to tell me. Tony, please. Please, I don't want to spoil my mood, okay? I... What do you mean, spoil your mood? Go ahead, honey, tell me. What is it? I want to know. I mean, I know you're going to leave me for another woman someday. Hey, hey Floxy. What are you talking about? I hope it's a joke all the same because, you know, you know we're meant for each other. Please, just forget it, okay? I know you're going to leave me, I know. Sweetheart, listen. I can never, ever leave you for any other woman, okay? I cross my heart. I can never leave you.
So what do you intend to do now, Tony? I don't know, Charles. I really don't know. But I believe that one day, God is going to relieve Linda of all her pains. Oh God, Tony. Why are these things happening to you? Why? Like I said, Charles, I don't know, but... I don't care what it's, what it's, what it's going to take, how much it's going to cost, but I'm going to do everything within my powers to make sure that Linda leaves. Man, I love that girl, man. And I love her so much. I, I can't just sit back and watch her, you know, die just like that. Yeah, I can't. It's okay, it's okay. All I want you to do right now is have belief in God, okay? Believe he can do something. have temporarily subsided, okay? She can go home. Doctor, please tell me. Is there nothing we can do for her to be healed completely? <sighs> well, um, medically, as far as I know, I don't think so. But I advise that um, you people that are close to her should show her enough love. You know, show her that you care about her. You know, that might help her to live longer. You know, we treat, but God heals. Let's be a chance for a miracle. Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Mm, so, I'm still here. 
Oh, tell me I love you. I love you so much. God knows. I love you too, honey. But, um, right now, I think you need to eat some food so that the drugs will take effect properly. Mm -mm. I'm not hungry. You need to eat something. Okay, maybe later. Who is Ada? Uh, Ada has gone to see the doctor, but she'll be back soon. Okay. Oh, Tony, Tony, I feel so weak. I understand, honey. You need to be weak. Maybe I should give you some time to rest for a while, huh? I'll just take a walk downstairs and I'll be back. No, don't you. Okay. Charles, how is the girl? Well, according to Tony, when I spoke with him on phone, he said she's getting better. I don't know why this is happening to my son. I don't know why. I believe God will take control of the situation, sir. So just believe him. The most annoying thing is that my son Tony refused me coming to the hospital and does not even want me to render any help. Uh, no, that's not it, sir. Um, actually, I believe Tony doesn't want you to get involved based on what you've suffered in the past. God, please take care of the situation. Take care of my son. stay for a day or two more to make sure everything is alright. No, no. I'm fine. Look at me, I'm fine. Okay. But there's one more thing. What? Honey, I I know this might come as a surprise to you, but I want to make a confession to you that you're everything I want in my life. I mean, I, I want to beg you not to turn down this proposal. Honey, please. I, I, I want you to be my wife. Will you marry me? No. I mean, why? I mean, is it that I'm not good enough? Maybe I'm not man enough for you. Why? <laughs> Tony, I can't marry you. I can't. <laughs> to marry him. Well, you know what? I, I can't say. I don't want to hurt Tony. He doesn't deserve it. Linda, don't you understand? You're not hurting him. He loves you. And if Tony loves you, you're not hurting him.
Charles, can you know? You know everything about me, Charles. I know how you feel, Linda. But the truth is that Tony loves you so much. So please, I want you to consider. I love Tony more than he can even ever imagine. And that's why I don't want to be a source of pain to him. You don't have limited time. I'm, I'm, what would now happen? We all know what you're saying. Even Tony understands all this. But, I mean, oh. for goodness sake, the man knows what you're saying and he loves you. I mean, his happiness is what I'm talking about. So please. His so happiness please. will be limited. I understand all this. I believe Tony knows all this too, please. So wh why, why should I do that to him? But His he, happiness will be limited. Listen, Linda. I understand everything that you've said, but sincerely, let's consider Tony's happiness also. I mean, like you told me, you said you love him too, right? But I know, I know everything, but please, think about it. Let's see if we can be able to consider him. I mean, a man loves you so much, please. Okay, okay. Give it a thought, okay? Thanks, thanks. I'll 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 I thought you had an appointment with Charles at the clubhouse today. Oh yes, 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 yes. Um, I really don't want to go anywhere right now. Why? Because I just want to be with my lovely wife. Oh. Or is there something wrong with that? No, no, no. Hmm? It's okay. So tell me, what can I prepare for you tonight to eat? You want to cook? Why not? <laughs> um, what do I want? Um, okay, let's have um, um Do you like snail? Yeah. Snail is good. I mean the doctor said it's um, highly medicinal. Yeah, it's very proteinous. Okay, can we have um um what? spaghetti and snails? How would you With want a snail, snail sauce? With a snail sauce. Do you want this fried or just cold? You know I don't have teeth. <laughs> Okay, spaghetti and snail. Yes. Okay. At your service, ma'am. Oh, thank you, darling. Mm. <laughs> Don't bother yourself. Just lie back. Read more politics. No, I'll miss you. Let's go to the kitchen. Come on, you don't want to no, 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 I can't no, no, stay here. No, 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 no. So I'll be bored. Listen, listen. You need enough rest right now. Okay? No, let's go. I'll just sit in the kitchen. I'll do anything. You'll I sit. Promise. Mm. promise. Oh, what was it that happened in Ireland? They are doctors. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tony, morning. Good morning. Hope you slept well. Oh, I did. Taking care of my wife. Mm, yes, my well, uh, we're about going to work. Uh, will you be here when I come back? Um, I don't think so. But I, I, I have a lot to do. But I will be here till 5 p.m. Then after that, I'll go. Oh, five, five, five. I don't think I'll be able to meet you. Uh, but you'll be coming around tomorrow. Sure, sure. Can we go and get ready for work? Okay. Um, once again, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Right. Well, John, I've been. I've been thinking about this deal lately, and uh, I think we should make it a 50-50% a deal. Oh uh, no, Tony. Um, you know you've invested more than me in this project, so let's make it a 60-40% deal.
no way I'm going to cheat you on this business. Besides, you're my best friend. I know. Uh, oh, oh, who is it again? Excuse me, just one minute. Hello, Ada? Yes? What, what, what happened? Which hospital? Okay, okay, I'll be, I'll, I'll be there right away. Oh, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll be right there. Huh? Thank you. Tony, that's a challenge, please. We have to go. What is it? My wife has been rushed to the hospital, please. We have to go. That what? I rushed out to get a recharge card for my phone and when I got back, she was on the floor, running temperature. I had to call the doctor. So where is the doctor now? He's in her work, the same room. Okay, Tony, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Take it easy. Linda! 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 Linda, you hear me? You hear me, Linda? It's gonna be alright, okay? Do not say you're awake. You're gonna be alright. Are you hearing me, Will? Linda, are you hearing me? It's okay. It's alright. No. Don't say you're awake. Listen to me. Are you hearing me? Doctor, what's Talk to me. Doctor, what happened? Um, I'm trying my best. Doctor, what's okay. happened? Is she gonna be fine? She's going to be alright. She's going to be alright. Hang on. Linda! Linda, you hear me? Linda, talk to me! Doctor, please do something. Anything. Doctor, please, please. She was losing her breath. We lost her. What? She's. She's what? Dead? No! Linda, Linda please. I'm not leaving. Please, 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 Honey, I love you. I just came to tell you how much I love you, honey. Please don't do this to me. Don't go, please. please don't just please give me help. Please. No, Dr. Please. 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 Help me take the fire. Mr. you have to leave her. No, 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 Linda, please. Oh, Linda, please, please. Don't please. Don't honey. I just got you some things. Please. Talk, talk, please, please, take your friend out of here. Please, please, please. Mr. Tony, please. Help me take your friend out of here. Please. Please. Okay? Oh, don't 
be Look at you, you me back. You missed my kid. Oh! Oh! No, let's go. I'll take ice cream. So, what brings you to my humble abode? Oh, okay. Oh, I just wanted to see your face again. So, where is Ada? Um, she went to see someone on the island. Uh, um, Linda. You see, um, I just hope you don't get offended, but, um, I want to tell you that, you know, you and my late wife, um, you know, have a lot of things in common. I mean, you possess almost the same qualities. <laughs> like, so what are the main qualities? Okay, um, the way you walk, um, the way you smile, the way you bite your lips once in a while, you know, and most especially your eyes. Tony, please. <laughs> well, um, I've come to know you, and I've also noticed some nice qualities in you. And I think I like you. You're a nice guy. Uh, but there's there's one big favor I like to ask. Go ahead. Well, um, please, um, I I I um, I please. I don't want you to fall in love with me. <laughs> oh, Linda, you're very funny. I wasn't even thinking about that. And I'm not even ready for that love game yet. No. That's quite a relief. That's good to hear. So that means we can be very good friends. That's what we are. Enough now. I want to go. You sure? Maybe we should stay for a day or two more to make sure everything is alright. No, no. I'm fine. Look at me, I'm fine. Okay. But there's one more thing. What? Honey, I I know this might come as a surprise to you, but I want to make a confession to you that. You're everything I want in my life. I mean, I, w I wouldn't beg you not to turn down this proposal. Honey, please. I, I want you to be my wife. Will you marry me? No. <laughs> no. I mean, why? I mean, is it that I'm not good enough? Maybe I'm not man enough for you. Why? <laughs> Sorry, I can't marry you. I can't. <laughs> Calm down. You see, money is not the issue. Linda has leukemia. And that is cancer of the white blood cells. It means that her white blood cells are immature, making her defenseless against any infection. You see, wherever you or I could pass without catching anything, Linda could get it at the slightest opportunity. Her immune system is at its lowest. 
She's been on chemotherapy for a very long time. As we speak, leukemia has no cure. We only have drugs that can buy the patient's time. And these drugs are very expensive, so I advise Linda to forget them and leave on. No, 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 Doctor, listen, I, 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 I understand all you've said so far, but please, I'm ready to foot the bills. Whatever it's going to cost, I will pay, Doctor. Please, I need your help right now, please. See, Mr. Tony, um, we've conducted all manners of text. We've run the you know, full blood count plus film, the bone marrow aspiration, the chest x-ray, the urine test, the you know, blood test, just you name it. You know, including the symptoms that she's always complained about. And all this confirm that she has leukemia. All we can do now is pray. And as we sit here, I'm sorry. Linda has a very short time to leave. No, doctor. Doctor, please. That girl means a whole lot to me. If, if I lose her right now, my life will never be the same again. Please, doctor, please. I, 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 I want you to do everything within your powers to see if you can save her life. Tony, see, no matter how much we spend, no matter what we do, all we can do is just wait and pray. I advise that you just become strong, at least for her sake and her friend Ada.